As a kid, I won a motorcycle on a, on a TV show um, when I was nine years of age. So I started riding in the bush and that was good fun. And then dad got me racing and then and eventually went on to riding Grand Prix bikes in the World Championship. And I still love riding motorcycles and I love doing it in the way I do it now. My passion started when I was about 16 or 17. I met a group of guys in Brisbane and they took me to Cape York fishing. And from that day, I love all the top end. And that's why Cape York become one of my tours on Darrell BD Adventures. My first truck for the business was a Mercedes Unimog. I bought it and then realised, oh my God, I'm gonna have to spend a lot more than I did at the auctions on this truck to make it work in the business. Uh, it got to a point where I knew I had to upgrade. I needed that reliability and I decided to try a Beko. I approached them and they welcomed me with open arms. Knowing what we do, it's, it's harsh environment, some of the toughest stuff in Australia. Uh, they're happy to put their truck on the line and say, you know what, we'll prove to you that our trucks do the business. The building phase has been five to six months getting this truck ready for this season. You know, it's had air CTI done for tyre inflation so we can change tyre pressures on the run. Unidan, the body. The Euro Cargo has been really good. Um, we've seen a lot of the Dakar stuff. They've done a really good job of those trucks. Um, it's the first time we've used a Euro Cargo. Um, bit of a learning curve for us, completely different system to the, the trucks we've previously used. Uh, it's going to be really interesting to see how it goes in, in under Daryl's punishment. Once yeah. we get those door settings right, it's extraordinary compared to what we had. You know, you can see this old unit here. It's, it's, um, it was small. We had everything in that, and it was a disaster at times. Having the the size of the the body, it's just been fantastic. It makes our job a lot easier. Um, albeit more space, more ideas Daryl has to put in the back of the truck, and more things he needs. With the bigger Euro cargo, it's a 15 tonne truck. I still feel like we struggle with room and we're still going to fill it. But now I can walk into a truck and pull a drawer open, pull a food drawer out, open a fridge, do whatever I want. Sounds silly, but it makes a big difference. The season's about to kick off for us, so you know, I'll get a true evaluation of you know, the ML150, the Euro cargo, and how it's going to perform. Um, I have no doubt it's going to be, be very, very good.